Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, hello. Welcome to Final Fantasy X No Spear Grid Challenge. This is a part I have been fearing for... Ooh, good minute. I've been talking about this boss for... Uh, I've been subtly hinting at this boss for quite some time. This next boss is uh it's a monster L literally let me walk over boom there it uh, is we got every now there's a rare sight whoa that's huge what is that the guardian worm every the great sacred beast protector of bavel the red carpet has teeth. <laughs> Wait, that means we're close to Bavel. Riku, you read me. We're gonna fight that thing. Get on deck and show him what you got. Go! There he goes again. The ferryman asks a high price. Mmm. See, he, orange roll in this game is just to come out and say raw lines. So I'm looking at the I'm looking at the strategy guide right now, and there's a I, I had to go while that cutscene is playing go pull it out for this. I, I'm looking at it right now, and uh, <laughs> this strategy it, it's not really that good because one of the things they're like in this <laughs> in this fight, one of the things is definitely important, but one of the things they're like make sure you have a healthy supply of albed potions. I, I got that, and mega phoenixes. Like damn, where are you gonna get mega phoenixes at this point in the game? I've been I've been grinding like crazy. I only have two. Yeah, use all your mega phoenixes on this fight, not the ridiculously hard fights that are gonna come much later in the game. But yeah, before before we actually fight him, well, first let me activate this cutscene. Open the hatch. We fight. Every is truly Every mighty. Is truly mighty. Be well prepared. I'm not gonna bite. We gotta pay. We gotta pay. If we lose, you'll die too, buddy. I have faith in your victory. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Yeah, I had to watch this cutscene a whole lot because I died on Everay too many times to count. But also, I want to come down here so I can save. So in the event that if I do die, I don't have to watch all those cutscenes leading to it. So I, while I uh. <clears throat> Between this last part, I got 99 bomb cores. Uh, Titus now has fireproof. Orin has it. Uh, they're, I only gave it to just Riku, Titus, Orin. Uh, Lulu does have it. But I don't think I'm going to switch to Waka at all during the next phase after this. Hmm. But for this next fight, I do want to at least keep Orin with this because he needs some health for this next part. This is what they say. It's a battle most dangerous. Take his with you. Oh yes, I will take that. I'll do. I'll do need that. Oh yeah, and I got some more musks too, so I should be set. Where's that? Uh, yeah, 24. Not not a lot, but I, I got some. So yeah, this fight right here is dangerous. <clears throat> this is a dangerous fight, cause Evere has when you hit to about. When he has 10,000 health left, he he casts haste on himself, and he can start obliterating your party. Like, there's a certain move he does that will wipe out all of your party members. So there are certain steps I have to do early in this fight just to aid myself when I get to that final push. Because for the most part, the fight in the strategy I was kind of working on in my practice run was to kind of just smoke bomb him and kind of keep chipping at his health slowly and when it get to the 10,000 mark when he starts haste then throw in all the big shots and everything so you're gonna see a little bit of that and I will say from this point on this is as far as I've made it in a no spear grid run in my practice run I was gonna stop uh, right before Evre, but I mentioned how I mentioned a while ago in one of the parts that I had to get an Albed primer, so I had to legit fight Evre in the No Spear Grid <laughs> playthrough when I had less stuff, and it was a tough fight. 
Like, I died a few t quite a few times. But I was able to get that Albed Primer immediately following this flight. But from that, that's as far as I've made it. So once I beat Everay, we're in untouched wilderness. So it's going to be... It should be a little interesting. It's also going to be a little scary, but it should be fun. Okay, Gibbs, Gibbs in order. So pretty much this is just explaining that Titus and Riku can command Sid to pull the ship back since Everay has certain moves that he'll pull on you up close. Uh, mostly Poison Breath, which will wipe out your party. One well, of the first things I'm going to do, real quick. Uh, Chocobo Feather on Riku. And... One other thing. <clears throat> silver Hourglass. This is probably the most important Silver Hourglass in the entire game. And it's the reason why I grinded to get those. Because now, with that, he has Slow On. Riku has Haste. So he's not going to get a lot of turns. And you combine that with a smoke bomb. Right now, Evre can't do jack. Because if he does the physical attack, he's going to miss. If And because of haste, he's not going to have a lot of turns. So we'll, I'll still the water gym from here real quick. So I look, boom. He's done. I'll get Titus back out here. And I'm pretty much going to have him out here as my, my sensor check. Just to see the health. Okay, I'll hit power break. I'm not gonna try and hit him too too much. Since uh, if you do do physical attacks, it uh if you do physical attacks, he'll he'll petrify you. Real quick. Just for safety, I'm gonna put everybody with shell. Ty Ty is probably gonna die realistically from it. But, honestly, Orin's the most important person in this party right now. Because, Orin at least has a lot of health. And it's the reason why I was really happy when I got the stamina tablet. Because, if in the event that he does do poison breath, and I have the shell on, and he has the stamina tonic, he has enough health to survive it, at least. So in the event that at least some of my party members die, I should be fine. What? Oh, god dang it, that's why. I forgot all about it. Right before this fight, when I was grinding with the bombs, I was getting sick of Riku evading, because it was just slowing everything down. So I, I switched her weapon. Oh, I gotta put that weapon back on. That, that was dumb of me. Yeah, god dang it. That's a dumb mistake. I should have noticed that before this flight. Alright, now I gotta... Now I gotta get... This chocobo feather back on. One good thing about that, at least, is that... Oop. Okay, that's my sign. When he does that, it means his next turn he's gonna hit poison breath. So... Let's pull back. And, and the reason why I'm only casting haste on her for right now... Is because she's the only one who's really going to be doing some damage. So I'm going to want her getting as many moves in as possible. Because if I, if I get Orin and Titus with them, it gets in the way for her to actually deal damage. So I'd rather do that more than anything. And if I do want to make this faster, I can use Poison Fangs. Which, Poison Fangs do some damage. But I kind of want to save those for when I get to the end of this fight. Okay, so he's gonna do this now. Hmm. As I can do, I. Okay. okay. He's got that. Just, just in case. I, re I really want to use her overdrive because I want to get like Mighty G so I can at least give cheer because then maybe Titus and Orin can fight. But I really need to save it until until the end. 
Okay. One thing I do want to check, I, I just want to see something really fast if I have this. I should think I got it in the last area. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, there's a mix I can make with Riku that will deal a lot of damage and it might be the thing that cinches the fight when I get there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off right now. Like I said, I showed in the last part, I do have the underdogs, but I don't want to do that because that that makes this part easy. I'd rather I'd rather go through the fight, the slow method. Okay, and with that, now it's time to just start getting into attacking mode. And I'm gonna use smoke bombs, even though it's not, it's not the most powerful thing I have, but I have a lot of them. Honestly, I could use uh, smoke bombs. I can use the bomb cores since they'll do about. I'm acting up. Smoke bombs are better. I who, who's she hidden? All right, I'm still gonna keep attacking. Just because uh, I don't want to waste now bed potion. And I want Riku at least her turns to be fighting at all times. So when Orin gets his turn coming up, then. I'll have him heal. And it's also the reason why uh, for this fight, I try not to have everybody with like steel, with like shell and all that because every will take them out with it. So real quick, what, what's his health looking at right now? Okay, not too bad. It's going pretty smooth. Okay. You know, I could change that. I'll do electro marble. Oh, excellent. That's super weak. Never mind. I'll stick to the smoke bombs. And that's why I got tit for tat. Because now if she gets hit physic with a physical tax, like she'll dodge everything for the most part. And since she's the one who I feel like most enemies always want to go for when it comes to physical moves, it's going to help out. <clears throat> and there's a fight coming up uh, in a few hours or so. And it's a fight where the, the boss itself is reliant all on physical attacks. So that fight in itself is going to be just, like, Riku's going to be the best person there. Because Waka by that point will have a, an evading counter weapon. So we'll have two people in the party who can dodge that. And I still have that other teleport spear. So if I really want to, I can put it on another person. So pretty much everybody in that fight would be uh, immune. Outside of one attack, which I can easily just bring him back. <laughs> Alright, so he's getting close now. So when he gets to about 12,000... So the thing is, when he gets to about 12,000 health, I need to hit Sid to move back. Because once he hits uh, 10,000, he hits Haste. Immediately, he's going to start fighting but he might hit poison breath and because he has haste the amount of time you have between calling Sid and having him come and him getting an attack out is super quick it's like one turn so you'll immediately die so you have to kind of preemptively know before to do that so I have to really watch the health soon okay so I'm gonna go back and honestly for safety I might have uh I might wait for, for Sid to do one of the, the, the missile attacks. Because if you do wait for uh, a bit while you're back up, you, you have three missiles that you can send. They do about oh, like 2,000 damage or so. I, I have thought about giving Riku one, but because I have so few of them, I don't want to like waste it. Honestly, Orange is there just for safety. In the event that, like, if, if anyone else dies, at least we have one person there. So, honestly, I might, legit, I think I am going to give Orin that. Because if everyone else does die, and and Evre has haste, Orin's never going to get a chance to attack. Like, he has to come back fast and get Riku back or bring another party member in. Because my next, uh, option... And it's, and it's a scary one because I have done it and it worked horribly in my favor. Is that Kimari does have the overdrive uh, self-destruct. Which if Evre is down to like 
a thousand to two thousand health self-destruct will get them killed but the danger is that if it doesn't do enough damage you lose a second you, you lose a party member slot so you're screwed so that's one thing that you wouldn't really want to do so I have to I have to play it very carefully right now so once once I get back over there I have, I have to get a few attacks in then call Sid okay uh, I think I'll use another poison fang okay really really soon Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. This next turn with Riku, I'm gonna have her call Sid. Then the next one, I'm gonna do Poison Fang, which will send him over. Okay, that's the plan right now. So right now, call Sid for pullback. Who's he going for? Please go for it. Good, perfect. Okay, Poison Fang. It should be over the limit now, so. Hmm. Well, real quick, this. Hmm. Maybe it's not a start. Maybe I should bring him back before I do this. Huh. Hmm, that's a tough choice right now. Because where his health is, I think he, he's about at the 10,000 mark. So if I hit him. Possibly with an overdrive. Actually, now screw that. I actually can't use that. I need the overdrive for the next section. That is one thing I didn't mention is that uh, the next section after this fight. So even if you do fight this and get through Everay, you have a section that is extremely nerve-wracking because if you die in the next part after this, because there's no save point for a bit, you have to fight Everay again. So. You have to really, really be on it. Okay, what's he gonna do? Photon spray. Okay. Beca because Riku and Orin have shell, it shouldn't do too much damage for them. Yeah, Titus is gonna be like deadly. I should have had him. I should have had him call, call forward. Oh well. Okay, but now for sure. He's gonna be over the threshold, so he's gonna cast haste, and he's probably gonna like get over here. He's probably gonna do uh, he's gonna do that swipe, which could be scary because that shit could look could kill the party. Okay. Damn, Sid, Sid's not coming for a good bit. But look, if if Riku gets their overdrive over there, that's it. That could be it. Oh, damn, she's the only one not guarding. Please, someone live. Perfect, okay. For, I, I'm gonna say screw health, I'm gonna go for this. I have to remember what it was though. Is it a sleeping powder? I don't remember, but I'm gonna take the hit on it. If I die, then that's it. Okay, that was it. Okay. He should have, like, barely any health left right now. Okay, where's he at? Okay. This is gonna be crazy. But I'm scared that I won't make it after this. Let's go, Kamari. You gotta finish this off. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Everybody's been beat. That's a tough fight because it's really, it's a fight that all depends on like, strat like strategizing like how you use that pull back and pull forward mechanic. And, and that's and that's a fight that people struggle on huge. Like, you look at YouTube comments of it and people are like, "This is the fight that got me stuck in the game." And these are people who are leveling up, like who have, who are playing the game regular, <clears throat> and it's a tough fight. So it's just like, man, to get past them with no spear grid, like, that's a challenge. <laughs> like, you have to be prepared.
like like I mentioned it a long time ago in this playthrough. Had I continued uh, when I did that first Twitch playthrough of the No Spear Grid run, had I continued at that pace, like with how that run was going, I would have never beaten Evere. Because I had no nothing pretty much. But looking back, Riku had like jack and it came to items. I wasn't stealing or grinding much. So like if I got here, it, it would have been over. But honestly, with how things were going, I wouldn't have even made it past Thunder Plains. <laughs> like, even though I did make it to Thunder Plains, but like I wouldn't have made it far. All right, now we're getting ready for like the dope cutscenes now. But now, now this stress level is like really high. Like my heart rate's going like, because I can't breathe just yet. Uh-oh. <laughs> now this music. When <laughs> this music get... This music's really good. Also, this scene is this scene is really dope. Here comes the Sonic Adventure 2 sliding. <laughs> this part's cool. <laughs> this is still a good cinematic. Although I'm sure that hurt for Kamari. Everyone else had shoes on. Just grinding on metal rails at like blistering speeds. <laughs> and we gotta get up there, but look what we gotta get through. <laughs> Wait, don't run! I gotta heal first! Okay, and this is really important. If you're playing this, do not run. Heal, because you'll more than likely be halfway dead after that fight. So right now, I have to I have to be very careful in everything I just do and everything I do right now with my equipment and everything I have to make sure and double check they have fireproof on okay where's Riku at she has tit for tat red targe okay now the reason <clears throat> you have to is because these enemies here have uh they have a, like a flamethrower and they hit you with it and it does like 900 damage so only Orin will survive because there's other people there you're pretty much set to die so the people i need so right now actually legit i need to get kamari out kamari i need his overdrive mate well maybe not but definitely Orin, because there is an enemy here that i don't want to deal with and i'd rather Orin just uh, shooting Starum. Okay, let's hit it. Wait! Oh my... That was stupid of me. I forgot to put... I forgot to put the first strike weapon on. Boy... If, if I didn't have, if I didn't have the, oh my, if I didn't have that fireproof, I would have had to fight Evry again. All right, let me get Waka back so I can switch him with Orin. 
boy, I'm mad. I, I was just talking like, be careful with everything. Make sure you got everything set. And I forgot to change his weapon. <clears throat> it's like, great. Okay. So one thing I am going to do. I'm going to attack this guy. Actually, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to attack this guy. I'm going to bring Orin back out. And I'm gonna when I get to Riku, I'm gonna change her accessory. Now I'm gonna get her overdrive back because I'm gonna need it. So real quick, I'm just gonna switch. Uh, I'm gonna switch back to Soldier's Targe. I'm gonna let them attack. Riku will die. She'll probably get half her overdrive. Okay, let me bring her back. But this is one of the easier ones to do it with. She'll come back. She'll die again. <clears throat> and then one more will do it. Then I have to... Okay. So when I do bring her back, I do have to... Uh, I do have to hit another sleep powder. Actually, I can't do that because they'll, they'll die. Oh, well, well, next time, Chopper Overdrive, so. Okay, so when I do bring her back now, she can kill him. But when I when I do end this battle, I need to put Fireproof back on. <laughs> I need to make that the, the goal. Oh, no, he's dead. Oh, actually, this is actually kind of scary. Because... Okay, I gotta, I gotta bring him back. <laughs> I just thought about this. Like, she doesn't have Fireproof on. Orin does, but if Orin dies from that thing. Damn, I actually made this fight hard. I. Oh my. Shoot. I don't want to. I don't want to use that, but I'm. S Damn it. Kamari doesn't. Mm, he doesn't have his overdrive. Man, a stone breath would have been it. Fuck, but look at this. Look how many turns they're going to get. Like, or Orin will be fine for those first few, but like... Okay, I'll have to bring, I'll have to bring Titus back before I get to Riku. <clears throat> Man, this, this sucks. This is the first one, and I'm already like... In a pickle. I have to... Okay, please go for Orin. Thank you. And I can't bring anybody else out because they'll die. Man, one turn screwed it up. Me getting Riku's overdrive killed it. <sighs> okay. There is a strategy I can do, and that is, <clears throat> hmm. Okay, one thing I can do, I can heal Orin back. He's, Tyus is probably gonna die. Hmm. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a huge gamble, but <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit him with a shooting star. I'm gonna waste the overdrive. Oh, fuck. Okay. I'm gonna shoot and star one of these guys, cause at least. I'll oh, see how flustered I am. I screwed it up. <laughs> okay. So at least now. Wait, damn! Give me a turn. Oh my, please give me a turn. No! 
Wait. Please give me a turn. Please. Oh my god. Okay. Whew. Who to bring back, though? I have to bring Titus back. <clears throat> Actually, I I'm scared about that, though. Hold on. Let me heal up first. I don't. I don't trust those odds. I'm gonna get hit at least. It's gonna go down a bit. I'm gonna bring him back. I, I want to bring. I want to bring Riku back, but it sucks. I can't. I can't bring her back until this guy's dead. I'm really stuck right now. I'm in it. I have to like beat him. If I can at least get that other guy. That's honestly the, the, the part that's the worst is this guy here. Because he's actually like dealing damage. I'm legit stuck between a rock and a hard place right now. I have to hope now like my the luck has to run on my side. The guy here has to shoot Orin. Okay. This might be good. Okay, so right now. Me Mega Phoenix. Okay, you know what? It's gonna suck. I'm gonna blitz ace him. I'm gonna use overdrive just so I can <clears throat> I can get this back. Hey, you're not Riku. Like, if he dies... Okay. We're good to go. So now all I have to do is bring Riku back, have her change armor, and that's it. But dang, if I bring Riku back, she's gonna die instantly. The, the better strategy is just to kill him. Okay. I'm out of it somehow. Oh my, oh my gosh. That was the worst possible thing that could happen in that fight. I just used Orange Overdrive, which I actually really need for these upcoming fights. I wasted a lot of potions. Mm. Honestly, now this scares me. Uh, Hold on, I gotta, where, where's, where's the armored walker right now? I'm gonna actually give Lulu, you need you need this on, just in case I need to bring you out. Waka, what you got? Uh, I'll put it with that poison ward one. Okay. And real quick, let me put this back on. <laughs> he has, okay, he has Sonic Steel. Everybody's healed up. Everybody, for the most part, has fireproof except Kimari. All right, let's go. And this next one's going to really suck. Because this next one has an enemy that is legit dangerous. Like, this guy is dangerous because he can take somebody out. So I have to... I'm going to use the poison things on him. The 
good thing is if I get this guy out... If I get this guy out, then I can just have the guys... Okay, perfect. Okay, the strategy now is... What I did for Riku, I'm gonna do here. But now that those other guys are dead and it's just the fire guys, as long as we have fireproof armor, we're set. Okay, so real quick, I'll do now bed potion. It's kind of pointless, but whatever. I'm gonna have him switch armor. I'm going to go slow and steady on this one. That's going to be the strategy right now, just to get, <clears throat> get the overdrives back. Probably should get Titus's, but honestly, orange is the most important one. Okay. Uh, oh, no, I'm thinking, like, what do I do? It's like, Phoenix down. This part got me all screwed up. Now I'm just like, I, I'm thinking I'm, I'm thinking too much on it. Okay, well, he's got his overdrive now, so now this fight can end. <clears throat> I think uh, one, one smoke bomb should do it since they already got hit with a sleeping powder. Yep. Whew, okay. That was, that's a rough one right there. That's the fight you don't want to want. Because to get that little robot there, he he can take a party member out. That's why like I had to use the po the poison fangs. Because it's it's not worth the risk. Because if, if anybody else gets hit, it's fine. If Riku goes, it's a death sentence. Okay. Magic. Oh, man. That's actually, that's actually pretty good. Hold on. Damn, that's that's actually a really good one. This is pretty much the opposite of evade encounter. Where if she gets hit with magic, like she'll counter back and she can dodge like so that's a good one. Okay, so let me reset now. Quip. Quip fireproof. Back on. Uh Get Riku out there. Double check. He's got Sonic Steel. They got all their stuff. Okay, let's go. It isn't easy. Just an easy one. Nice. I wonder if I should get Kamari's right now. Nah, it's it's gonna be tough. Even tougher with these guys. Let me, let me see. I'm going to take one of them out. Walk us for the clutch. Okay, I'm going to switch him out for Kamari. Walk... Kamari should have Stoic on, so he should be good. And he has Fire Ward, so <clears throat> he'll be able to at least withstand it a little bit better. Well, it's kind of going. It's kind of going slow. It's good. It's gonna take a bit. Also, I forgot, I was kind of blocking. I need to be attacking. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not thinking right now. I, I'm so focused on just <laughs> getting through this part safely that I'm, I'm not thinking. <laughs> I'm just like, I just want to be done with it. 
That's why I'm playing even more, like, carefully with it. Again, most time in most games, I'm already I'd be done with this. I already would be watching the cutscene after, but I just want to be sure and having every precaution just in case. Like I don't want to repeat what happened that first uh, fight here, where I almost could have lost it all. I don't want to repeat of that, so I'm just watching my hide for that situation. But uh, I think two more two more times and it should be good. Yep, one more will do it. Okay, you got two more, and the next one we've got we've got the bad guy. We got we got kicking dude, and it and it would be good to use Riku's, but I have to save it for the last one. So we only have two more fights after this. So let me just double check. Even I didn't change anything. I'm just I I want to be I want to be careful right now. Okay, sleeping powder. I really, right now, I want Orin to attack. I want, I need Orin to get some damage in. No. Fuck. That's exactly what I was scared of. That happening. But that's why I got Orin's overdrive. For this exact thing. Oh man, I'm so happy. I'm so happy I made that executive decision. That could have been horrible. Because nobody's overdrive right now is strong enough to take him out. Because he has like 3,000 or something damage. And he does thrust kick super quick. I know I missed out on Kamari getting it, but I'll be able to get it later on. My concern right now is was just getting out of that battle. Oh, I'm, I'm so, I'm so happy I did that. All right, and this is the last one right here. This is the final fight. I just need to get away from the far away one because he shoots something that would kill all of us. But if I get close, we're we're done. Because right now he can't do that. And because Riku has a Vade encounter on, she can dodge every single move he does. See, even Orin will die. But like that there's no problem here now. We did it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yo, my heart rate is was is going so high right now. That is the most stressful part of this entire probably this entire playthrough. Because you have to go through Evere, which that boss already is kinda nerve wracking, but getting through this part. Now it's just watching the cutscene. And really the, the scary thing now is I just need to get to a save point. Cause I don't want to do this again. <laughs> Woo. I'm drinking some water after that. Damn. <laughs> this dude with the gun. Looks like a little bubble gun. Doesn't even look like it's a real weapon. Looks like one of those guns you get the LA County. Fa well, okay, I'm going to censor that part out. It, lo it looks like one of those guns you get at like a thrift store and it like shoots out bubbles. Like, I, I don't know why. 
my lovely wife. Also, I haven't used that weapon on Eunice since. Actually, she's never used that weapon because from the moment I, I had uh, access to play as her, I had Rod of Wisdom. Do you not value your friends' lives? Is your mic a cold? Your actions determine their fate. Don't kill that dead Don't man. Them, or throw them away. Choice is yours. Hey, it's the Arthur meme. You are Samwise. Oh, cinematic time. That's hide his face from <laughs> pissed off face. I am sorry, but it is for Yevon. Aren't those weapons forbidden by Yevon? There are exceptions. This bubble gun is, <laughs> is an exception. Bad dude, gun in his face, doesn't blink, doesn't flinch. He's just like, Hey, what are you gonna do about it? Let's get up these stairs. Leave now, please. You're coming with us. Don't worry, go. This is foolish. If you fall, you'll die. It's like I just made out with a dead man. He's like, yeah, you did. <laughs> I used to think that I could not go on If I can see it Then I can do it If I just believe it Then I can do it I believe I can fly And I believe I can touch the sky I think about it every night and day Spread my wing and fly away. I believe I can soar and see me running through that open door. I believe I can fly and I believe I can fly. Yeah, I believe I can fly. Yeah, cause I believe in me. That was pretty cool. I don't know if that last part made it in. If it was just quiet. And I was doing something really stupid. If you heard it, then you know I just did something really stupid. <laughs> but anyway, back to some uh, more stupid stuff. <laughs> Let's get off the game. What? What was that? An all bed flash bomb. Let me go. I'm gonna kill that Seymour. <laughs> I'm gonna kill Seymour. <laughs> we'll join up with her later. Breakthrough. 
that. And this theme's kicking in again. The Bell Palace is Temple. Yuna goes to one place only. The Chamber of the Fate! I've always wondered about that. So there's a save point right there. You don't really really get a chance to to go back out to use it. It's too quiet. I've always, I've always wondered that. Uh, a trap. I, I just want to get to a save point right Who now. Like, that's all Who I care about. For us? Huh? What's Amakina doing in the temple? I suppose it comes in handy. That's not what I need. The teachings. What about the teachings? Hey, don't look at me. It's a living. Alright, let's go down. Whee! <laughs> I don't know why. Anytime I see somebody go fast in a circle, what? Either for going so fast in a circle, like down a face. thing, or jumping over they something, I always think about <laughs> just we just saying that. They treated us like dirt. All right, well, let's uh, let's move on. And after many parts, after part one, I can finally tell you the point where that Albed primer was. So I mentioned a long time ago, there's an Albed Primer in the beginning of the game. When I was going over the Albed Primers, I was like, I think it was, four, it was 14. It was like 14, I was like, this is the only one I'm missing. The other ones I can get to, but this one, I have to get to this point in the game. And my thing was, it's in such a ridiculously easy spot, I don't know how I missed it. And I still, to this day... Don't know what I was doing last year when I played the Switch version while doing my playthrough of it. Because the Albed Primer is right there. It is super visible. It's not here, obviously, because I picked it up. But right now, I'm going to put on screen a picture of where it is. See how easy that is and how bright it is? I, I straight up walked past it and didn't get it. And for the life of me, I don't know what was going on. But you know what? I don't have to worry about that. We have all the primers. And you see what I had to go through. Because when I did the preview No Spear Grid run, I stopped at Everay. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to fight Everay. I'm going to wait until I get to the playthrough. It'll be a first time thing. But once I started the playthrough actually and I realized, wait, I don't have all the primers. And I realized, like, oh, well, you know, the other ones I can get, because in the No Spear Grid run, when I was doing it in the practice, I picked up the primers from home. But when it came to, like, the Bavel one, I was like, oh, I'm missing that one. Well, I have to get to Bavel somehow. And I was close enough, so I had to fight Everay. So I had to struggle through that fight and the part after just to come over here. So yeah, it was it was a huge pain to get that last primer. It wasn't just as easy as oh you know, uh, start a, a fresh file and get there. It was like no, I had to actually beat Everay and No Spear Grid, and I had even less items there, because now I had way more poison fangs and all that. So maybe it worked out better for the video because I was able to get through Everay. It still was a challenge, but I had a strategy going in, because. When I first played them, I didn't have a strategy. <laughs> I had to just figure it out on my own. Oh, man. Well, you know what? I'd love... Well, I should say love in quotes because I really don't love the next section. But I'd love to continue, but I need to take a break. I need a breather. I've been on high for like the past 35 minutes after Everay and a whole sequence of events getting through this part. So, yeah, I'm going to stop right here. So when I return, we got we got all of Bavel. We got this section. We got maybe another boss fight, depending. So I don't know. We'll see. It should be uh, it, it should be pretty good because from right now, it's all blind. I have not done this part of the game in a no spear grid, so this is all going to be fresh territory. So we're all going to go at this at the exact same time. So it should be pretty interesting. 
So, uh, thanks for watching. As always, I'm John GWC, and I will see you later. Ah. <sighs>